Hey everybody, this is Brian over at Obedia, and I'm going to show you real quickly today how to work with pre-roll for recording in Apple Logic Pro. Pre-roll is just a quick and easy way to give yourself a little bit of time to count in before your digital audio workstation begins recording your audio. This can be very useful depending on if you're recording yourself or if you're recording other people and you want to give them a little bit of time to get ready before you start recording audio. So to set up pre-roll, we just have to do a couple things. First thing I'm going to do, click on settings, scroll down to recording, select recording. The project settings open up. And right here, under the general heading, next to when beginning, you'll notice I've got count in. And I've got a pull down menu, and in this pull down menu I've got a lot of different options. One bar is the default option, but I can select a lot of other different ones depending on my needs for recording. One bar means that Apple Logic will count off one, two, three, four before it begins recording. So that's very useful and one bar is usually all you need now, however. You can also select the record pre-roll in seconds. This can be really useful depending on if you need to start recording and then run across the room to get your guitar ready or something like that. So the pre-roll in seconds, if you click right in the middle where the zero is listed, drag upwards, you'll increase the number of seconds. Drag down, you'll decrease the number of seconds. You can also use the arrows, of course. You can select up to 60 seconds for record pre-roll. Again, this is really useful depending on if you're recording yourself and you need to run across the room or something like that. It's a very easy way to give yourself a little bit of time before recording begins. Once I made my setting for my record pre-roll, I can go ahead and just leave that setting, close up the box, and now, with my metronome enabled, when I hit record, I'll hear a little bit of count in before recording begins, and then Logic will begin recording my audio. And it's just as simple as that. You'll notice that Logic gave me a quick two-bar count-in before it started to record this audio that I've just recorded right here. As always, you can get in touch with me, Brian, at Obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Tutor. Please get in touch with us if you're interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one tutoring session with an Obedia Tutor. We are the only source for digital audio training and tutoring on the internet that will work one-on-one -on -one with you on your own computer via the internet. I hope to hear from you guys soon, and if I can help you, please let me know. Take care.